Welcome. I invited you two here today to discuss your future at this company. You two having the lowest productivity rates in your respective departments. So since we have to make cuts, one of you will get to keep your job, the other will be deported. Let's get started. Now, uh, excuse me, would you mind telling me how you say your name, Mr. Uh, Venkatana Kulawamana Winawana? I just happen to let you know my name is Rajesh Venkatasamana Kari Raju. And I have let you know that I got promoted to assistant coffee seller in my department. Very good. That job is in the secondary sector. The great golden Buddha would be proud of the you. I know, I'm earning way more rupees than I did in my last job. Considering it wasn't a paid position. Uh, Raj, it says here your last job was a tiger farmer? Oh yes, I was one of the best tiger farmers in all of India. I mean, everyone was just jealous of my skills. Could you uh, maybe explain what you did in your previous position as a tiger farmer? Well, ever since Life of Pi came out, uh, all the Indian people thought it would be cool to ride on boats with dangerous tigers that could potentially bite your arm off. So obviously my job was to take the tigers and take them on small isolated boats on the vast sea and deliver them to people who are in need of tigers. It was not the best job. That sounds terrible. By the way, what was the most uh, memorable thing that happened while you were working at your job? What do you think? I lost both of these great legs to the fatal jaws of that tiger. Good God, man! A tiger did that to you? I think you mean good Buddha. Whoever said to catch a tiger by the toe is stupid. Don't listen to them. It's not a good idea. That's how I lost my legs. Uh, thank you, Raj. I think I've heard enough about your previous job experience. Mr. Yoon, would you mind explaining to me how living in Bhutan helped you with your current professional abilities? One reason, and this reason is to help become more productive in the Bhutan. Would you mind elaborating? One reason only. later. Well, Mr. Yoon, uh, that was the exact opposite of productive. We need, get, need to get back to business. Sorry, sir. I was trying to make it the funny time. Let me just remind you that I have more experience in the field rather than Mr. Bhutan over here. Also, I love America. I, I love it, okay? And it also has a great benefit of being in the core of development. And there's no army-eating beasts outside running around like there was back in the homeland. Record of that. Did Buddha teach you that? It's called the North-South Split. It's the line that divides the MDCs from the LDCs. It lets us know which countries are more developed and which countries are less developed. And it's located at 30 degrees north latitude. Wait, so anything above is MDC and anything below is DC or LDC? Yes, seriously, what is the literacy rate in Bhutan? Oh no, it's the so bad. Only 53%. Oh, I see now, but why did it strike you? The US is the MVC and also most developed out of the nine regions. The HDI and GDP per capita was also very high, which struck me like rain dew on the summer day. Oh, I see now, but why did it strike you? It means that the education system is the great here, which means I can get better job, better pay, and I can learn how to read. How was your life like in Bhutan? Well, Bhutan is the subsistent economy, and that makes it difficult for my ends to meet because family need to survive for what we make. Oh, that sounds tough. How about you, Raj? Well, in India, there are many jobs ranging from the primary sector to the quaternary sector. However, still making efforts to progress from primary to quarter, more quaternary jobs in India. Well, America is always open to skilled workers who are willing to migrate here. That is true, but however, the Americans are outsourcing their goods so that they can have cheap and made products and then they can add a high value towards the product and get more profit for the American companies. He knows. <laughs> we, will, we, will, we will never do that. Well, anyways, in my country, we have something called the Saman Foundation, which helps underprivileged children get education. That's probably my favorite national government organization. This is because it gives opportunities for the young children 
to earn their good livelihood with education. Wow, that's something, isn't it? It is. We already did a dance montage. Sorry, I got a bit carried away. Meanwhile. Soy sauce, the dumpling, the two for one egg roll. Ooh, take it out. So delicious. Mr. So, you! Oh, sorry, sir. Wake up! Oh, sorry. God, we're in the middle of the interview. Oh, I sorry, sir. I get up right now. Mr. Un, can you please tell me how you got resources in your small country? Oh, it was thanks to the fair trade movement. It was very helpful to me in Bhutan because it provided me with resources that we did not have back in Bhutan. Wow, that sounds quite helpful for those LDCs and developing countries. Yes, it was very helpful. But in both our countries, we do suffer from gender inequality, which means that men are treated better than women, and they get like more benefits than women because they are men. Oh, that is a problem. A few moments later. Well, it was a pleasure talking to each of you, and uh, after seeing how incompetent both of you buffoons are, I've decided to cut both your positions. You will be going back to China, and you will go back to whatever subcontinent you ever came from. India. Indiana. I don't even really care. So, uh, get out of my office. No, this is terrible. My mom won't appreciate this. Oh, don't worry. Buddha says when one door closes, another one open. This is not for the case for you. There are no more doors left open for you. Yeah.